Yo, yo, say coach and coach. Hey man, this this uh this is the homie. This is in from Bowie. This is Ronnie Shields, phenomenal 115 pound prospect. My man just had an amazing knockout win on Thursday. Uh, if you can look at the highlight on my page, man, what's okay. up, Bowie? What's going on? Good morning. What's hey, up, good morning, man? bro. Hey, man, this is uh, Coach CJ. This is this Coach CJ out of New York, and that's uh, Coach Rick out of Georgia, man. Uh, man, we just uh, man, I just wanted to make sure I got you in here just to holler at you, man. You uh. Man, you weathered the storm, man. T t tell me about the fight, bro. L l talk to me. You know. Tell me I about the fight, bro. How would you feel? I felt good, to be honest. I felt extremely confident, like, walking in there. Because the, after the first round, I was like, okay, I got this in my bag. I just got to catch them, you know. And I yeah. actually ended up catching them, you know. It caught me off guard when – when the doctor was checking his scar, like my, my blood kind of went down a little bit. I kind of like started like like slowing down, but he came in blazing even after that. So it caught me off guard. Me like that. Hey, did 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 Ronnie give you anything that uh that that really got you through? Cause I know you uh he 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 kind of caught you once. I don't know if it was a slip or a knockdown. You maybe you could clear it up for me. It was a mixture. Of, well, now that I look back, it looked like it was just a rock. But like in the moment, I really thought I got like rocks. But I also thought it was like a trip when I fell back to the rope. But yeah, it was just everything would happen so fast. Where I kicked my feet up and I I kicked somebody and I thought I got tripped. So when I was complaining, I was just trying to LeBron it. Like I really thought I got tripped for a second. But now looking back, so, I'm like, oh, he caught me. So the, did Ronnie give you any type of anything to get get through it or what? Uh, yeah, I mean, he was just basically telling me what to do because I, like, I told him I was okay. Like, I felt okay, so I didn't have to, like, like avoid anything. He just told me, uh, focus on feigning that jab and, like, throwing uppercuts or overhands, and it worked. I mean, I knocked him out with the overhand. Before that, I hit him two times with the uppercut he wanted, and so I did what one I One thing, to do. one thing I've been noticing about you, because I think I've been to about three, three of, three of the five fights you've had. And, and and Coach Rick and Coach CJ, they all knockouts, by the way. But uh, one thing I noticed is how much you you listen to the direction that you get from your corner, man. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, how 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 imperative, how important is that for a fighter where you are at in your career to listen to everything that Ronnie got for you? Man, it's so important because I'm so focused on the fight. The adrenaline's kicking in. Like I'm just doing what I I like. I'm just throwing like at the time I was boxing, but when I was throwing. My foot punches, I'll throw back with them. It's changed. So just listen to the coach. Like, just, it just gives me, like, a refresher, a reminder. Like, I can do that, but also remember to do this, this. You know what I'm saying? I, the things I forget is what he reminds me that I got to do. Who uh, who were some of the guys that's in there with y'all training, man? I know I, I see you in there, and I, I see uh, David Morrell. And who, who else, else is in the gym with y'all? Oh, we got a lot of good fighters. We got, um, we got David Morrell, of course. We got Apochi. We got uh, kids. I mean, David Dynamite Stevens. We got kid. We got uh, Austin. Uh, Austin Floyd now. Yeah, we got him now. Yo, we got Justin four. JP. Uh -huh. uh, we we got uh, we got Willie Jones. He just came back too. Yeah, huh. they're all, yeah, they're all good elite fighters too. It it, it seems it seems like y'all be having a packed house over there with Ronnie, man. Uh, it is. It is. Shout out Andreas too. He fought too yesterday. He, uh, yeah, Andre. How you say his last name? Catasorcus. Is that how you say it? I just say cats. Yeah, Andre, Andre is cats. Andre's yeah, he, an, he another one, man. Man, I enjoyed the entire fight, man. I don't know if you saw the effect I put on the highlight, man. I call it the yeah. Ephraim effect. The Ephraim effect, yeah. I like that. I like that when it came hey, to knocked down. Hey, man, for you to get up off, off of uh, being knocked down and stop him the way you did, man, it was something crucial, man. Uh -huh. uh, I'm, in here, I'm, in here, I'm in here with some real big coaching minds. I was uh, hoping one of them have some question for you that I may not be able to give. Coach, any any one of y'all got something? Yeah, what weight class you fight at? Uh, I'm super flyweight, so 115. Super flyweight. What's the doctor, South Park? I'm a South Park. Okay, I got one question for you. What's your favorite punch? It's the it's, it's, uh, left cross. It's no, wrong answer, champ. Yeah, All yeah. of them. 
The jabs. All oh, level. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was like the jab. Then. <laughs> what else, Cause CJ, you got something? Nah, I'm gonna let them rock. I'm just, I'm just glad at the end of the day that you, that you're accomplishing your goals, and that's what it's all about. Don't let the outside of the ring affect what you do on the inside of the ring. Yeah. That's all I can say to you. Just just continue pushing forward. And remember one thing. It's not about your coaches pushing you hard. It's about you pushing yourself hard. And if yeah. you continue to keep pushing yourself hard, then you're going to always accomplish what you deserve to accomplish if you do the work. Hey, hey, Infra, what, what, what got you into boxing, bro? My dad, for sure. I mean, even before I went to the gym, he was, like, doing the hand pads and stuff with me. And then once I got to the gym when I was eight, like, I just liked it just because, like, we're all little kids. And we're all, like, we're, we're boxing, but we're also having a lot of fun, too, doing a lot of things together outside of the gym. Prior to the, prior to the fight, I talked to uh, Coach Lou, Coach Lewis. Yeah. Yeah, man, he had a lot of amazing things to say about you, man. He, uh, he, he was talking about he'd been with you since you was yay high. He, he said he'd been with you forever, you know what I'm saying? And I think everybody I spoke to before the fight, was expecting a knockout. Now, his opponent was an undefeated guy as well. And, uh, man, it was a, a, a lot of uh, intensity. I mean, the whole crowd was chanting his name. I mean, I don't know. How, how did that feel to have the whole crowd behind you like that? It got me – it definitely gave me, like, a second win. I wasn't, I wasn't that tired to begin with, but, like, it just gave me that extra, like, win that I needed. So, uh, what's, what's your overall goal? I talked to your coaches now. But what, what's your goal and where you plan on taking your career? I really – I mean, I've always just been a fan of the green belt, the WBC belt. So, like, once I get that, then I feel like – not accomplished, but more like – then I'll feel ready to, like, get bigger. Like, I already have bigger goals. I want to be, like, a pound-for-pound pound champion at one of the weights, like 112, 15, 18, at one of them. But I feel like once I get that green belt, then I'll be like, okay, now, it's, now I can really, like, focus on that. Who, who, who some of the who some of the fighters that you kind of came up or should I say inspired was inspired by? Mm, growing up, like I was just I would just watch whatever the paper you fighter was, you know what I'm saying? But now now that I'm pro, like really around 16, 17 is when I started like having favorite fighters. So like Crawford, Lomachenko. I I like I started liking Lomachenko because he was the first Olympic fighter I ever watched. Like on like on TV, the Olympics. Like he was the first Olympic fighter I watched with Mr. Savannah. What do you what, what do you what do you like about uh about his style and what he do? Uh, I just like it's more about I just like how he makes it look so easy. Like he's just going in there and doing what he does, and it just looks so easy. Like he's just doing it you know? effortless. Yeah. Mm. Effortless. I mean, you, when you move, you move with a lot of fluidity as well. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I, it's almost crazy to watch that much power come out of you whenever you connect. And so far, all the fights that I've been to, there's this point in the fight where you pretty much change the whole direction of the fight by connecting on on a punch. And uh, I guess we all know what that punch was last Thursday. But are you do you look for the knockout, or is it just coming to you? It really just comes to me, but once I do land it, like that's when I go for it, you know. Once once I see that that fatal shot, like that's when I go for it. But I learned this fight, like, because in the first round I landed a, a good straight. And then, yeah, you like, did, you did. I, like I, I really do that. Like I practice it a lot too. Like doing that, like it's just a movement. It's more than a, a movement than a punch. So I practice that a lot. So once I landed it, I thought it'd be over. But it, man, it I, up, I saw, yeah, I saw, I, I saw you. Uh, I saw you. Uh, cut him real bad. You know, uh, what, what what goes through your mind when you see an opponent leaking like that? Oh, man. This time, nothing. Just because I had a – like, I, I was blind from one eye. Too. I was, I was, like, during that whole – the whole time, I was wondering, was it his blood in my eye or was it my blood in my eye? Because I didn't want another scar, but I ended up getting another scar. But yeah. during the whole time, I'm just thinking, like, whose blood is in my eye right now? Because I was, I was blind. <laughs> like, I couldn't see for a second. <laughs> I mean, uh, the dude, man. I, I see, I see, I see you. Uh, you, you was talking a lot of noise. Y'all was both talking a lot of noise prior to the fight, man. And uh, he was talking the most. Yeah, he was talking, like, yeah, he was talking I, some I big. He was talking some big shit before the fight. I'm like, wow. So when I seen, I seen you come into the fight to the venue, and you, 
he came in with y'all white, you know what I'm saying? He was looking real comfortable. I'm like, man, he seemed like he ain't too phased. So where, where is your mind at once you come into a venue getting ready to fight? Because that's a big fight for you, considering that's a, another un, uh, uh, undefeated opponent. So, like, what do you, what does your mind go when you come into a venue getting ready to get in? Man, for this one, I already, like, I just felt like I was the better boxer on the back, you know. I knew he had power off his record and who he's fought. Like, he, he's beat some decent, he's knocked out some decent people uh, already with his uh, three knockouts. But I came in so confident, like, of, I already knew I was going to be able to box him. I seen another fight where the other fighter he fought is good, but he didn't, like, it looked like they wasn't even trying to fight back. Like, they just thought they were going to, like, cakewalk him. So, I don't know. I just felt, I just felt confident in what I was going to do. So do, are you gonna get it? Are you gonna get another one in before the year's up, or are you done for the year? I hope I do. I was, I was maybe supposed to fight in November with next fight up again, but this scar is like forty five days suspension. So okay, I'm done one, but it's you say like forty five days. days. Yeah, that's forty five. Yeah, it's days. gonna be longer than this. It's gonna probably be longer than that. Mm-hmm. Where that where that cut is at, that 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 can be opened up very quickly. So you want to tend to. Make sure that it really recovers because that can open up very quickly right off of the heel. It can open so, uh, right back up. So take your time with that and watch yourself. I I, I gotta ask I gotta ask since you know you, you around him, what's the what's the greatest thing about working with Ronnie Shields? Oh man, I think just his legendariness, like just hearing like like what he says, like I take it like to, to consideration more to heart than I, I would like if another trainer told me something because I'd be like, he's not just gonna tell me something if he didn't know that it was gonna work. You know? huh. already, I'm sure you got guys it. that I'm sure you got guys that approach you all the time and tell you things about Ronnie and oh man, he legendary and things like that. So you probably hear that quite a bit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? But but your but but your interaction with him in itself are you seeing yourself what makes him legendary or is it just based on what other people are telling you? Oh man, looks like we losing him. We're in the matrix. His boy is beefy is not acting right. Hey boy, uh, they had some questions, man. Hey Rick, coach Rick, uh, a- ask him what you asked me, man. Let him, let him ask you. My phone, my phone died. Well, um, what, what was your record? Repeat that, sir. My phone. With the record, pro. Yes, sir. Five oh five pros. Okay, that's a good record. Yes, sir. We you see yourself in the next two years. Already probably fighting for like one of the major titles in two years. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. I, I think I think you I think you got a, a great focus on what you're doing, man. Uh. You look real polished, man. I mean, is there is there a lot? I don't want you to have to drop that, but is there any things that you feel that that you got to work on, or, or or things you feel uncomfortable with yet, or what? Um, uncomfortable, no, but I feel like I can't get too excited. Like that was the first time, like I felt somebody swinging back with me in a pro fight. Uh huh. I got like just feeling the punches. I was like, it's not that bad. So like, I kind of enjoy like fighting with them. You know what I'm saying? And I got too excited and was I kept on throwing with them. So That's so it's I safe think. to say that Ephraim likes to fight. <laughs> yeah. Because a lot a lot of boxers don't like fighting. Once I got punched, I got kind of happy. I was like, okay, like somebody's actually punching with me. I uh, uh Joy Khan says growing up with Bowie is such a blessing. Truly an idol, got the world in his hands. So apparently, you got some people that you greatly affect. What's up, little bully? They yeah, you got people. Mean? You got people around you that that you affected. So you you clearly is uh, uh is 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 popping the people. Mm-hmm, yeah. Like like I was telling, I was telling the coaches that I had heard about you before I'd ever seen you. You know what I'm saying? That's what kind of drew me out there. And, they, and then when I saw Ronnie was your coach, I'm like, well, damn. Well, well, well who is it? You know, and I've been watching kind of the way you uh you said that you kind of uh get, try to calm yourself and not get too excited. Do you find yourself getting excited during fights? Yeah, it's, when, once I rock them, that's when I get like excited, and I use like um like not all my energy, but I use a big portion of my energy to try to take them out right away. I'm sure you. I, I'm sure. I'm sure you watch the uh the fight. You know, uh after you rock them, do you think it needed to be stopped? Every time I rock them, I feel like it need to be stopped. Yeah, 
<laughs> hey, boy, do you get to work with Schofield? Repeat. Do y'all get you get to move around with Schofield? I can't hear you. He said, "Do you get a chance to move around with Floyd Schofield?" I haven't yet. I I kind of been wanting to challenge him, like, like just be like, let's fire. But like, I was already towards the end of my camp. I felt like I was already like when he came, I was already cutting away. So I want to give him like, a, like not the best version of me, but like a bigger version of me because he probably uh, he has some power for sure. Watch him inspire uh, Justin. Like, he can hang with Justin, so I know he can hang with me because I inspire Justin. Justin's tough, so. I just want to be like bigger. So definitely, when I come back, I'm gonna get that probably. So what, what what do you what do you think is a a, a great asset of Floyd Schofield? I mean, you actually in the in the training with him. What what, what do you think is some special things about him? Watching him, it was my first time seeing him. Like I never seen him before. Like respectfully, like I just like seeing him personally train in person. It was my first time. Uh, I say he's very determined. He has good angles, and he's not afraid, for sure. He's not afraid do you think? Do you do you think he's a threat at a one thirty five? I think he's a threat. I think he's a threat for sure. Here's a here's a cool question for you: If the fight would have happened, who you got, Errol Spence or Bud Crawford? I got Crawford. By by knockout. Oh man. I guess so. Yeah, I want to. I, I I've been saying that, so I'm gonna keep on keeping it. Wow. <laughs> hey, why, why you taking Bud, boy? Hmm? Why are you taking Bud? I just I just grew up like a fan of him. Like it's more of a fan thing than like realistic thing. Like I think Earl Smith is good too, but this copper is like he gets it done. Like he like if he hears it on the uh, scorecard, he's gonna come up and just get it done. Tell me something about uh David Morrell that you like. Um, I'm planning on going to see him spar on Tuesday. Um, I think he has good combinations. I'm not sure, like, about his power because he spars the big people on my gym. He's probably like the bigger guys on my gym. But from saying that, like, he could, I could tell he has power. You know what I'm saying? Banging with them. And is uh is think, it, Go ahead. I'm sorry. I think I think he has a lot of potential to beat the best people. So I'm glad to be training with him, and, and hopefully he fights like those top guys in his weight. Because he is a top guy. He's just a lower known top guy because of his record. Is uh is is FA a job of still in y'all gym? Yeah, he be sparring him. How does FA look when when you see him? FA, he's the sparring WBC king in the ring. <laughs> Do, do you uh has, has there been a Jamal Charlo sighting in the gym? I seen him a couple of times. I've I haven't seen him train. I I know like when he was getting ready for his last fight before it got canceled, he was coming to the gym right after I would leave. So then I was gonna start like coming like staying there, but by the time I was already staying late to the gym at the gym, like the fight had got canceled. But he do be hmm. there. I seen, I seen him quite a few times. Huh. So uh. I got a question for you. You versus Monster Itaway, how does that fight go? Oh, man. Right now, I don't even want to say Itaway got it, but I'm just, I'm just giving it to him a lot of experience and all. Yeah. Do, yeah, do, you, do you, you respect his uh, do you respect his gangster in the ring or what? Yeah, man. He's crazy, especially after his last fight just in the first round knockout. Against, no, uh, against uh, No Nino Donaire? Don't need on there, yeah. I was like, damn, that's crazy. It was just wild watching it. Do you, uh, do you, you ever watch Chocolatino? I'm sorry, go ahead, Coach Rick. I got yeah. a question for you. What was the transition? What was the transition like between amateur and pro? I feel my punches connecting now. Like, in the pro amateurs, I feel like that, that bubble right there is what. Like protects our knuckles, kind of. Now, like my knuckles aren't protected. Like I woke up the next day from my fight. I'm like, I feel those uppercuts I was throwing. Like I feel it now. Like I never felt like it'll be like soreness in my body, but it was never like hand pain until like I turned pro. Like feeling my my, my punches connect. Hmm. Did you ever? Uh, I feel like it's making my defense sharper. Like it makes me kind of like more active in my movements for sure. You uh, you 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 uh, ever watch Chocolatito? 
Yeah, I have. I like. What you think of him? He all right? Yeah, he all right. I feel like I would. I, for him, like I come in like just wanting to outbox him, you know. And like you know, he like to him. fight. He he like to fight in the pocket. He look real comfortable in the pocket. Yeah, I know. I mean, I only I only ask you, I only ask you because he he fluctuates around that 115, 118, 112 area. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he don't get, he don't get that big. Either. Do you uh do, do you watch guys at that weight or no? I, since I turned pro, yeah, I have. Since I turned pro, you know. So since you turned pro, you, who who you watch kind of kind of changed up? Yeah, who, since I turned pro, he has because now like. I don't know. I was only just focused on like trying to like do my own thing with like the USA teams and stuff. So like I was never really paying attention to other fighters unless like you're a Crawford or Shakir or Loma. But since we since we didn't ask you, man, give give, give me a rundown of your amateur career, man. What, what what was it like? My what? Your amateur career. What 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 was it like? I think I had a very successful amateur career for what it was like. I felt blessed because I did a lot of things a lot of people are trying to do or you know haven't done yet. So come on, get, get, give 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 us something. What, what what did you get a chance to do that others ain't do? Uh, like for one, like a big moment for me was when I won state, uh, state Golden Gloves, and then like the same week I moved up in weight or something. I forgot what happened. Like I moved down or up in weight the, the same week, and then I won a national tournament. Like the the very next week, like the USA Nationals, to qualify for the December Championships, and I ended up winning that too. Yeah, man. So, so did you? Can you say that your uh, your preparation in the amateurs got you prepared for the pros, or was there some other buffer that had to get you ready? I think it definitely got me prepared because, as especially the USA tournaments, I learned like you can't just fight; you gotta learn. How, you, I gotta know how to box too, so it made me focus more on boxing when I was in the USA tournaments, you know what I'm saying? The big ones, like, because I was like, okay, these guys are pretty good not to really box. I can't just fight them. Huh. Mm -hmm. Man, man, I, I got I got to tell you, man, I, I, I greatly appreciate you hopping on here with us, man. I, uh, I always go catch your fights. Hell, you be seeing me up there, man. But, uh, -huh. uh I mean, you, you definitely see me before the fights. I be w wandering around. But man, I, I really appreciate you for hopping on and just chopping it up with us real quick, man. Uh, sure, I look sure. forward to seeing you again in the future, and maybe we'll link up and we'll do a little sit-down interview or something like that, man. But uh, in the future, man, continue to hold it down. How you doing it? Oh yeah, who was the name of the uh the artist that came out with you? Young Friday Night, shout out Friday. Hey, Coach Bowie, so Hollywood, he had a guy perform on the come out. <laughs> That's good. It's a show. He, he, he big time, show. man. He big time. Uh, superstar movie. Pleasure to meet you. Hey, man, we look forward to checking you out again. You see me, I'm going to keep documenting what you got going on. And, man, just holler at your boy, man. Appreciate you for coming through, boy. Thank you for all showing love, man. Appreciate all the coaches. All the time, bro. We're going to holler at you later, boy. All right. All right, boy. Man. Wow. Back against the